Okay, this is the newest model, latest model power jack. Uh, we're talking December 2015. This is the um, controller with L LCD version. It was about 50 bucks on eBay. And it comes with a warranty. As you can see, all it gave me was an, an ID number that was printed pretty faintly on there. Um, I'm not going to show that off to the internet because I might actually register the warranty. So I'm going to go over the manual. Um, so that's first page. And you can pause it and get the information you want. Okay. Couldn't find this on the net anywhere. So I'm putting it up here. This is a video I would want to see uh, to get a review. So this might be the very first review of the new power jack. Now, there's a lot of YouTube videos about power jack stuff, and some of them aren't that nice. So, I think for this video, if I do a second video, it'll be on the innards, but this first video is just what it's going to look like, what you can expect, or whatever. My second video might have um, the innards, so... All the electricians and stuff can, oops, can uh, have fun looking at that. And so this is a 12 volt or a 24 volt. Um, system. And uh, I hadn't heard about the ATS. Uh, I think that's the more expensive version, the one that goes for about a hundred. But it looks very similar to this one. And so, um, so that's something to think about. And I'll, I'll discuss that too. So this is a box that comes in. I'll try to show you the the uh, what it looks like. Some damage. I was a little worried about that, but I saw the um, I saw the uh, the other side has my address and junk on it, um, and then there's nothing on the bottom. So anyway, it comes in a. Uh, in a box, pretty thick cardboard, see, dual layer, and then that comes in styrofoam, and that hole you saw didn't hurt the device. Comes out down, and put that there, and so, pretty, pretty uh, well packed. Pretty simply packed. And then you get your plastic. And I noticed when I, it's cold here, it's December, December 2015. This sucker was cold. So apparently the heat sink case looks, looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty cold from being in the cold outside. Not, not that it has self cools or anything other than uh, what the fan will do. So yeah, this is just a very casual sort of once over. I only usually have 10 minutes on these videos. I'm doing this on my cell phone. It gives, it gives me HD option. So, 
I want to get. I'm at the five minute mark or so. I want to get this done. And do my little commentary. So in one video they said, uh, when you get a power jack, you want to shake it, make sure nothing's rattling. And the only thing it seems to be rattling is maybe the fan, which is good. Okay, so let's do the once over real quick. What I liked about it is advertised as a big LCD display, easy to see, easy to manipulate. Okay, we we'll turn it over. Not much to see there. There's the quality control. I'll turn it over again. Might as well just keep going. Not much to see there. The front terminals. Big letters. Can't miss that. That's where your input goes. Positive to negative. I like that. Big inputs. You can't you can't like you can't overlook that. On and off. That's good they do that. I like that. Now this side, and notice if you look in the in the light, see what that says. It was something something uh, DC input. Probably fourteen. I read fourteen and twenty eight DC input. Um, they mark that out with a pen or something, and then put DC output. So that's worrisome. There's your ground. And I believe red is is positive, black is negative. But they don't put any other uh indicators on there. So that's a little worrisome right there. But at least they're trying to do big old labels. I like big old labels. So So here's the same things I want to talk about real quick for around a video. So there's three versions, right? Controller without LCD. I've seen that for sale. It kind of looks like a big blue box without this on there. Uh, I don't know why you'd want, you'd want that. Uh, then you have controller with LCD, which is what this is. And you have controller with LCD and auto switch function ATS. This doesn't have that. If it did have ATS, it would probably have another output here, and then that would go to your your dump load or your secondary battery bank or whatever. So I got the mid version. There's also a version that I've seen that's half the the amperage of this, so it'd be half this numbers, and it just looks like an orange box because it's just basically like that with no. With no um, with no heat seek fan, right there. It's just a box. So they rated it. I think they rated it half. So there's actually four versions of these systems. Um, and so there you go. So I paid I paid fifty dollars, and if this turns out to be legit, then they're gonna totally dominate the solar industry. At least for the the Mavericks, um, for the jet, for like the 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 grid tie systems and stuff, they're they're not gonna get very far because this isn't certified for all that. But for the off grid people, if this is legit, and I think in my second video we'll open it up and see, um, then um, we'll see what's in there. They they're probably gonna dominate because they can make these for less than anybody else can. That's for sure. So there you go. That is the newest uh, power jack as of December t 2015, and I'm gonna be using it for 24 volts and not the full 2400 watt rating, but only for about a thousand watts on the system I intend to make. For this branch. Okay, so thank you very much. The Military Industrial Museum. Please like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Have a great day.